It's Monday, November 1st, and I am on a remote session with a new client. Um, and uh, she has a laptop, a fairly new high-powered one. It's, it's a quad-core, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit, and uh, but it's running Vista. It was purchased actually last year. Um, with, but it's got a quad-core CPU and 4 gigs, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, but they've been complaining about some freeze-up issues where it would freeze up after about 10 minutes of booting up the computer. And so I'm just logging in to clean that up here, um, going through the list of uh, programs in the Add Move Programs list, Programs and Features, as they call it in Windows Vista, and removing what I suspect on a first glance, what may be causing the conflicts. They were thinking there may be a virus situation, but um, um, I'm thinking it's more with software conflicts. And on top of that, they have Norton install, and it just hit the expiration period. So that's something that common that happens is when Norton expires, uh, you start to see a lot of um, problems surface as Norton decides not to protect you anymore and wants, wants your money. So we're going to replace that with some good free ones and uh, get the show on the road here. So that's where I'm at, just removing a few things, cleaning the system up. Yeah, just one thing I wanted to point out here. Um, there's a Norton saying that it expired and it's really trying to alarm you here. Spyware expired, malware expired, phishing, spam expired, express renewal here, and it's got red X's, red color, red font everywhere kind of get you to renew and pay them as soon as possible. And um, that's just the nature of these big name brands here where they know they're uh, up next to uh, get their next payment from you. Um, system, I know it may be hard to see anyways. It's, it's running at 1.28 gigabytes of RAM. Um, at this point, 52 processes. And throughout the cleanup, I'll, I'll gauge it and, and see if we can get it below that. For a Windows Vista, Windows 7 system, um, around one gigabyte of, of memory usage is, is pretty much a standard. I've temporarily reduced the resolution on the uh, the remote uh, systems uh, screen down to a 1280 by 1024. There, they must be using a huge screen on their end. Uh, it was set for like 920 by 1280 or something like that. So now it's a little bit more readable. I am um, at the process in the process of downloading the cleanup tools that I'm going to use to clean up the system. It's not really a big antivirus situation, as I mentioned, so I'm not downloading like the Smith Fraud tools or anything, any of the big scanners. So um, that's uh, what I feel here. And then I've already removed these items here. And uh, so at this point, I'm just going to go off and just uh, install these items, run a quick cleanup, and um, finish off that way just completed running the SpyBot scan, and it removed uh, 13 entries. They were mostly um, just browser cookies and stuff like that. And now uh, with the CCleaner, I've just completed running the CCleaner program. On this computer, it had removed uh, upwards of 650 megabytes worth of junk and temporary files. And I told it to pretty much go through and run and hit most of the common uh, uh, entries, uh, locations on the various programs that it does. Um, what's nice with this newer version, it's the version 3.0, uh, 1303. It seems like this newer version, it prompts for you on initial setup whether or not you want it to remember not to remove um, the browser sessions and, and login entries so that it doesn't delete those out. Um, unlike you know, prior to the update, you'd have to manually specify within the check marks not to remove certain cookies or logging sessions, login sessions, so that your system still remembers like your, your Gmail login and stuff, so you don't have to log in. But there you go. Panda Cloud Antivirus installed. Close that out. And I am in the process of installing Internet Explorer 8 uh, through a, the updater, the yellow shield on the Windows Vista. Just um, declared that it needed to install that. And uh, on a Vista machine, I would install it. So there that goes. So that was the only pending official Windows update uh, for the system. So I'm just going to let that go through here. So now it's installing. So at this point, when it's all done, I am going to restart the computer and uh, do another check of the, um, the memory resource usage and processes that are running. And uh, should see that we have a good improvement and wrap up the cleanup session. 
All right, well, everything's pretty much set. I just found off on the tail end that it's looking to install Service Pack 2 for Vista, another big uh, big update here. So I'm going to let this um, go through. And since the install of, a, of any Service Pack usually takes a little while, I'm just going to let it run and inform the client, though, that I'm pretty much set. And if they see any problems uh, as the Service Pack 2 does install, just inform me. But I'm just going to go ahead and close off the session here and um, send off an invoice to them. So pretty much all set. Everything is running much better. I'll pull up the task manager here. And um, the running processes is pretty much the same. Well, I'm also, uh, I've also got the service pack going in, but it's uh, got about 1.67 gigabytes of system RAM running. So I'm not, it's not really on an accurate number here since I'm installing service pack 2 and stuff. But uh, it's still uh, responding much better than how it was before, and, it's, and it hasn't uh, frozen on me once yet uh, now that I've cleaned it up. So everything looks good.